So when you have an idea, it's all about the execution. As soon as you start execute it, you're good to go. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Hi, welcome. Welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to talk about the question, how do I protect my idea? The thing is, we're going to focus only on the copyright, and I'm talking about the copyright in the Netherlands. Not about, I'm not talking about copyright in other country, but just in the Netherlands. The thing is, when you have an idea and it impacts the people of the Dutch Kingdom or in the Netherlands, then you need to look at the video. Otherwise, go look at my other videos, and maybe in the future I will make for other country. If you have a request about certain kind of country or you want to know more about copyright in your country, just go on the Discord, send me a text, and I will see what I can do for you. So, let's talk about it. How do I protect my idea? So, we talk about copyright in the Netherlands. So, let's go to the drawing board. As you can see, this is a drawing board. Like in many videos, I will tell you guys that when you look at copyright in the Netherlands, you need to look at the original text. When you see the original text, you see what copyright is. I can understand that most of you guys do not speak the language, you do not understand the language. But online, you have certain kind of translation. But just keep in mind when you look at translation, translation is all about making choices. So let me give an example. When someone translates something, it doesn't mean it's wrong. That means the person chose to choose that translation, to chose to choose that word. But the thing is with the Dutch language, most of the time they have for everything a word. And when you translate it to English, you have a lot of options. So when you look at the law, especially the copyright law, look at the original text and also look at the translation. And if you need someone, just ask someone in the Netherlands to translate it for you or look at it and see if it suits your situation. Because this can prevent a lot of problems. So if you look at copyright, here we have um, in Article 1 we have the they explain what copyright is and you see that also in here i talk about this in another video we're not going to talk about it in this video but in this video we're going to talk about how do i protect my idea so we want to break it down what i mean by break it down is when you have an idea there are a couple of questions you need to ask yourself and i'm not going to discuss everything with you you will see what i'm talking about in the rest of the video but i'm just saying that when you have an idea and you want to protect it, sometimes keeping it secret is the best way. So, let's look at it. This drawing board. So, um, we're going to talk about it from my perspective. You have an idea, I'm trying to steal it. Yeah. So, it's not about protecting, I'm trying to steal it. And in your mind, you're thinking, okay, I need to protect it. Now you need to think, what kind of rights do I have? When someone tried to steal it what can i do because well, as soon as you take action you're protecting something if you do not do anything nothing will be protected that's why i don't like the your word using uh, i don't like the word protected but in this case we're gonna look at it how can you use your right in order to prevent people from getting away with your idea so if you look at the the law there's nothing in the law that you can find about idea so if you look at copyright here i do see the word idea and the word idea in english is almost the same as in uh, dutch so it depends on the situation but it's idea so idea idea same but i don't see idea here yeah. so even here when you look at the translation you do not see id idea here Copyright is the exclusive right of the author, and then blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to read the whole thing. So, we are, this doesn't say anything about idea. In a couple of videos, I explain how the copyright works. I'm not going to do everything again. I'm just going to show you the basic, and then we're going to talk about the idea. So, there's nothing about idea. So, even in 10... It doesn't say anything about idea in some country you will see that they have an article that say ideas are not copyright protected here you don't have that i'm going to show you some tricks that you can use in order to protect the idea but you need to understand how the system works first so i'm going to talk about the system and then i'm going to show you some tricks so when you talk about copyright you always have abc formula a b 
doesn't matter how you call it at the end of the day it's the same a is most of the time the right so this is your right and we talk about this in uh, another video you write can be um you have to write to make it public and you have to write to reproduce it so to make a copy of it that's technically your exclusive right nobody can do anything about it where can you see that you see it here exclusive right make it public and reproduce it so i talk about it in another video so this is your right the thing is this is a so we know a we talk about your rights that's on the thing that you created b is you we call it copyright holder of author doesn't matter how you call it the person that created the thing and is copyright holder so you see here in the law they call it author and you see here they call it authors the thing is this is a um, translation but um, the word author doesn't suit in my opinion this translation because here is a, a, they're saying you are the creator and here they only have author i do not agree with this translation it doesn't mean it's not correct it's just someone make a choice if i will translate it i will say creator it doesn't matter so we have here uh maker maker is technically marker yeah maker creator doesn't matter but we know the person that has a um, copyright is the person that created the thing yeah so copyright holder in this case copyright holder c is me like i said i'm gonna try to steal your idea so this is me this is you this is me simple right you understand this so far thing is in the law you have some limitation what i mean by that is when someone gives you some rights they can if you, they can also give you some limitation and if you see if you look at the dutch law about copyright they said hey we give you certain kind of rights but there are some limitation we're packing here by wet gesteld those are limitation you will see it also here limitation provide in the law by the way it's provided by the law and uh, yeah this i'm not saying this is bad translation it's just you choose the word that you do when you translate something so this is um this these are limitations so when there is limitation that means in that situation you do not have copyright simple example when i said uh when i use citation there's a limitation in the law because of limitation the copyright holder cannot go after me so if i use your work for citation and i meet the requirements by law i'm safe to go you cannot do anything you cannot protect anything i'm using it according to the law so when you look at a you have rights but there are some limitation so when there is limitation copyright copyright holder cannot do anything but if there's no limitation copyright holder can do anything yeah to protect his uh, work <coughs> so we understand this part we know okay when we talk about copyright we have this system yeah this system also work with trademark and patents when you use the abc formula then you have the trademark here the trademark holder and the other person that want to use it right so what about when you have an idea let's say you have an idea you're in your room you're thinking you have an idea right really great idea so let's call it gg means great idea and you'll be like okay i want to protect that idea you see that a lot with people they have an idea they will be like hey i want to protect the idea i want to tell anyone about anyone about the idea okay this is not protected because if you look at the law see let's look at the english version first exclusive right of the author let's say maker you need to have a work and if you look at here idea is it a work the question is no technically because when you look at work so work um 
that can be protected by copyright i don't like the translation i talk about it in another video but if you look at this here you do not see copyright if it's a book you wrote a book you can have copyright on the book if it's a lecture the same story musical work same story but idea itself it's not in here i'm not saying um i'm not saying that if it's not in here it's not um, copyright protected this is not limit um, limited but idea is not protected one because it's not in here and two there were some cases about idea and when you have an idea it's just not protected it's not under this part work so if it's not here that means when you have an idea it's not copyright protected because it doesn't meet the requirements of copyright you agree on that but there are some ways when you can protect your idea for example let's say let's talk away number one let's say you wrote everything down the whole process and how you do everything you wrote it down and you registered somewhere as a uh, um, document that can be copyright protected the whole process as soon as someone copy your process and you can prove it you can go after them as soon as someone copy it or make it public you can go after them but you, should, you need to make sure there is no limitation where can you find the limitation in the law if you look at here if you go down here there's a structure in the law and they will say it literally the from this point these things are the limitation so here are your rights he explains what your rights are the same articles so article 5 15 is the same as the articles in here so i will show you the dutch and then i'll go to the english part huh? so here you see the limitation the beperking here van het auteursrecht you see a whole list of limitation and here so if you look up from 15 um here 50 limitation on copyright you see it always here yeah so if you want to know what those limitations are just look from here you will see what the limitations are so let me highlight it for you so you can see what i mean from here you can also see in the section limitation on copyright or is limitation of copyright but um okay so when there's limitation you cannot do anything but as soon as you write everything down you register you, you meet requirements of copyright because then you have a work because the whole process is written down and how it works you can prove it so you have that it's the same when you are a dancer you create a uh, certain kind of way of dancing and you record it and uh, i'm not saying everyone should record a dance and then so if someone's copy it then you can go after them that's going to be difficult because you have to prove that you know her first one. That's something um, difficult. But let's say you create a whole dance for three minutes long. It's a whole process. Same as the song. You have that on uh, your computer. And you can register to be um, intellectual property office. Then on that point, you also have a copyright on the video. But also have a copyright on her process. How you do it. So technically you have a copyright on it. So if you have an idea. You need to break it down like i said at the beginning we need to look out how we can break it down so when you have an idea you need to break it down and you need to look okay what's important for me what's my business model if i'm going to pursue this idea if you're going to start with the name think about trademark if you're providing certain kind of services or products if you're developing a product think about the name and you want to create a brand Think about trademark. If it's really something technical and you want to protect it, write everything down. Look up the other patents on the internet or on a patent database and see if you bring something new. That's an important key point of patents. I'm not going to talk about it in details, but look at it and see if you can do something with it or not. But you can write everything down and you can register document as a copyright that's a good thing to start but the problem with that is 
when you write things down people can can get access to it so for example you wrote your idea down i found that book i read it and be like okay i'm gonna copy it you couldn't you cannot do anything about it because you cannot prove that i'm st that i stole it from you unless you register see the situation can get a little bit complicated so my advice or my tips for you is when you have an idea keep it a secret keep it for yourself or start testing it and don't expect too much from the idea because the way how you execute an idea is much more important than the idea itself because let's be let's face it um you can make better hamburger than uh, mcdonald's or you can make better um, kfc than mcdonald's but why do they have a million dollar business or a billion dollar business it's because they know how to do business you understand what i mean and what i'm trying to say is you may have an idea but the execution is important and when you look at the execution you need to look by okay i'm going to take this step and that step and that's something someone cannot copy if you focus at the beginning too much on protecting your idea i can understand why you want to do that but most of the time it's not really worth it i'm going to be honest with you because when you start executing it nobody can copy it it's all about the execution even when someone copy it doesn't mean they co make it better and even if they copy it doesn't mean your client will go to them that's most of the time that's the fear that people are having let me give you an example if you see above me you see bmc bmc is a company that came after another company another company is called patreon offer creators the option to create a community and the community supports them by crowdfunding thing is paid uh, patreon got big but they had a certain kind of problems and another uh, company thought okay you know what that's a good business model you know what i'm gonna not copy it i'm not saying they are copying it i'm gonna make it better so they saw certain kind of things that um, creators want and they thought you know what i'm gonna offer them but for a lower price and a better quality and what happened they are starting to grow fast what i'm saying is when you have an idea it's all about the execution and at the beginning yes you want to protect a lot of things but think about the execution what's going to be my business model what how can i provide value to my clients of customers think about those things because when you create the product you need to test if people want it when you create a software you need to check if people can get on the platform that's most of the time people do not think about those things and the problem with that is is when you create something and not someone is not using it or coming on your platform you're creating it for nothing you understand what i mean so when you have an idea break it down what's going to be my business model it doesn't have to be a perfect business model because during your um during the time your company change and the, there may be extra services you can provide or certain kind of service disappear and services you didn't think about will be come into your business model that's how you can grow so when you have an idea it's all about the execution as soon as you start execute it you're good to go there are certain kind of things that you need to do in order to protect it let's say you can register your name it doesn't have to be immediately but just wait six months and register your name it depends where your target group but six months is good to go i explained that in another video but yeah with the idea you can do the same so trademark is an important thing copyright is an important thing if you sh if you want to protect yourself from me keep it a secret for yourself create a product test it and then bring it out that's the safest way but if you register you're focused too much on protecting your idea wow it's not worth it so focusing on executing and not more not too much on the idea itself so we talk about how do i protect my idea like i said i really don't like that word protect but you have certain kind of rights when you look at ideas in this case try not to focus too much on protecting the idea try to focus on how to execute the idea when you execute the idea people cannot copy it even if they copy it it doesn't mean your customer will run away you have loyal customers or you can build towards that so i can understand when you have an idea you do a lot of things to protect it but start executing because the idea itself is not protected 
the execution is another story. If you have questions about this, go on the Discord and ask me directly. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gon' get it. You hear me loud, man, I'm winning. Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be.